Now that we have a concept for our game, we need to start designing it. I'm going to get you started with game design by having you create two unique levels that you will add to the model platformer game. You're going to sketch these using what's called a storyboard. You're going to take pictures of your finished storyboard and then you're going to submit those pictures in a document as a PDF. How will I visually describe my game to others? It's extremely important that you have an idea of what your game should look like before you start developing it. Being able to clearly communicate with yourself and others what your game is going to look like is critical. To start creating your storyboard, click on the Game Storyboard Copy and Share document. This will automatically copy the document to your Google Drive in your Colstock game directory. Remember, the first thing you want to do with any Colstock copy and share document, replace where it says student name with your own, replacing the brackets. What's a storyboard? A storyboard is a simple sequence of drawings that describes something. In this case, it's going to show the levels of our game. Make sure you have that list of game assets you're interested in using that you have blank sheets of 8.5 by 11 printer paper, a sharp pencil and eraser, and something to take a picture with. Start by taking a piece of paper and folding it in half, hamburger style. Each half sheet will become one storyboard, one for level 2 and one for level 3. I've given you a model to follow. When I went to make level 1, I created this storyboard. This is the castle trainer level. Notice how I've drawn everything in appropriate detail, but it's no Picasso. Below each one of your storyboards, you're going to make an inventory of the assets you need to bring that level to life, of the code that needs to be written, and any animations that you need to put together. Once you have all this, you're going to take a picture of your storyboard, email it to yourself, and then you're going to replace these placeholder images with your storyboard image. Simply click on it, right click, and replace image. Down below each storyboard picture, you're going to list the assets, the code, and the animations. Remember, I'm asking you to do two unique levels. If you get stuck, feel free to contact me. Make sure that you're following the model. Time to get storyboarding. Don't forget, you need to submit this as a PDF on Schoology.